Hey, what's going on there, everyone? It's Trucker here. Today, we are going to be covering a pretty cool plugin called Animotion. This is actually a free plugin, and essentially what it does is it kind of allows you to make cinematics in-game and kind of travel from point to point, uh, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to head in and kind of show you how this works. So I'm going to head and go and do a play spawn and kind of show you what this looks like here. So we got different points that I set, and it kind of travels around those points, and this is all done through the plugin itself. So if you want to slap on some shaders or something make it look cool um, We can also slow down the timing of everything and kind of kind of make that a little bit more smooth as well So uh, this is a free plugin There is a paid version as well Which has a little bit more features and one of the the core features of that paid version is a smoothness factor so this a free version does not have that implemented uh, into this one, uh, but you can definitely check it out on this big page if you want to do that. So let me go ahead and show you how you can kind of create your own specific systems and we can travel to different points. So the main command is going to be AM. Let's kind of give you the base information here. So what we can do is run the edit command. So this is going to hit and either put us in editor mode for a specific one that we made or just make a new one. So I'm just going to call this striker. All right. So we'll go ahead and make one and then it fills up your inventory with several uh, different types of things So the very first thing we're gonna make a new step and so this can be pretty much wherever you want uh, So say we want to have like a nice cinematic from uh, down here going up to the spawn a little bit All right, so it's gonna take your position wherever you are looking So if you want to start it right here, it's gonna start right here and then any type of movement it will track So if you want to point this way, then the camera will shift that way as well But I want to kind of point in this direction because it's going to make it uh, look a little bit nicer here. So I'm going to uh, just uh, go ahead and click again and we can go up. That won't travel through blocks as well. So if you want to kind of go through the bridge here or like go down, we can do that. And wherever we are looking, so it's going to be right there. And then we'll kind of end off uh, about right here looking this direction. All right. So now what we can do is if we click the repeater here, uh, if you hover over it, you can either left click or we can right click to play specific ones. So if we want to do uh, the whole animation, we can left click on this and that's going to head and run through what we just set up. So as you see, we are going through the bridge here and it's slowly looking that other direction because that is where we ended off looking. All right, so that was actually pretty clean. I'm not going to lie. I did like that. If you want to do like the current step, so as you see that we are on like step one of four, if you want to just edit a specific step, we can go to hit next and this is where uh, you can kind of see the trail. Hey, it's going to travel from here to there, all right? And so that is from one to two. And then if we hit the next step, as you can kind of see our line, uh, which is really helpful. So we got from uh, two to three here. And then the last step is going to be from three to four. So I, I really like that because it's visually kind of see what we're working with. So say we want to add another step uh, like down in this direction. Um, and oh, that kind of looks nice. So we can kind of like visit our uh, specific points looking up at the portal and that we can make a new step here. So that will be five. And if we hit this next step, we can kind of see, hey, it's going from here to here. And if we would just want to play that last step, it has a nice view of looking up at the spawn. Oh, the portal looks pretty great from underneath here. So I, I do like that. And so that's kind of how those points are created. We can also set a specific location for the step. Uh, if you want to change direction or something, you can set it there or just delete it. So that's kind of everything in the inventory there. Uh, last thing is doing the specific settings for each step. So currently we are on, on step five. We can choose use uh, like all the steps here so we can see where they are located, the speed and the delay and what each type is going to be set at. So by default, uh, it is set to 10 if you want to slow it down a little bit. So for example, step five, say we want to have a nice slow motion so we can decrease that by one. And then if you want it to be everything, you can apply them to basically all the global steps that you have. So my last section here, so from, from five, I want to decrease this down to about six. So that's going to be a nice slow motion there. And of course you can have the current step delay if you want 
amount of delayed currently is set to zero ticks, uh, basically nothing. And remember, 20 ticks equals one second. And then here we have just the duration. And if you see right there, if it's not set to default, the speed won't have any effect. Uh, but you can increase the duration if you do want to. And then down here, it uh, gives you the default uh, thing here. So default speed is 10, and then zero, and then the default ticks. And then, of course, the current step type is default, and you can do more with the paid version there. But you can kind of go to each previous step, as you can see right here. You can kind of see the speed and uh, delay there. But for example, mine, I'm going to leave it at 6, because that is what we want to do here. And of course, you can open all the path options as well, so we have some additional things. So this is just a default here. If you want to hide all players, or if you want all players to be visible, if someone's like in a PvP arena or something, uh, kind of be nice to kind of do a nice cinematic uh, to have all the players visible. And of course, you can have absolute or relative, and then of course, return it to the final position. So those are some extra settings that you can set up in here. So once you are done, everything looks good. We can go ahead and just hit uh, save. And that's going to save everything. We can use our item here to go ahead and left click and we're going to play through the whole animation here. So that is going to look nice and fancy. It's going to run through. So this one is at speed 10. And then remember our very last one is going to be set down to about 6. So you can kind of see it's a little bit slower here. And I kind of like that, that essence of, of that. And I think that looks perfect. So what I really love about this is very easy to set up. Everything is done in game. And to get out of editor mode, what you can do is just uh, shift and click, and we can just click, and there we go. So now we are out of editor mode. So I have my uh, NPC Jeff here, and so I am using ZNPC, and so we're going to run through the action. So this is what we need. So we're going to do the ZNPC action add, and so this is one for me. And the command that we're going to be running is just AM, and then play, and then whatever name that you set. So for me, it is striker, and so that's all you need to do is to adding the command so we can go ahead and right click and that's going to run through that animation that we set perfect i really like this because this looks so clean and so good so you could do so much with this specific plugin making it kind of a unique twist to your server kind of running through cinematics uh for specific points and that looks absolutely perfect i love it so anyways guys that's uh basically how this plugin works very easy to set up very easy to use in game uh but let me know if you have any questions the link is down in the description as always I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.